President Gengob outlined Namibia's ambitions to mobilize sustainable climate financing to combat climate change and turn around its economic fortunes. One such is the development of large-scale green hydrogen projects, which he says would provide the world with clean molecules needed to decarbonize the hard-to-abate sectors. One such pioneering example is the Oshibala project by High Iron, which plans to use Namibian produced green hydrogen to deliver the first industrial produ production of iron at net zero emissions. During the first phase of the project in 2024, an annual output of 15,000 tons of direct reduced iron is planned. Oshibala will be one of the biggest primary production sites of green iron worldwide and is expected to sequestrate 27,000 tons of carbon dioxide emissions per year, equivalent to 50% of the carbon dioxide emissions of Namibia's entire power industry today. Namibia has also seen interest by a number of countries to be off-takers of green hydrogen and ammonia. President Gengob says the development of green shipping corridors with Denmark-based Marsk McKinney Moller Center for zero carbon shipping is on track, while another with Belgium CMB Tech is in the works. We are working with Campaign Maritime Belge, a shipping company from Belgium, with plans to build a clean ammonia bunkering facility in Wolfisburg. As more UN member states race against time to meet the goals of clean energy transition, the Namibian head of state reminded the assembly of their pledges made at the Paris Climate Summit in 2015. The agreement calls for developed nations to provide financial and technological support to enable developing countries to shift to cleaner energy sources without hampering development. Blanche Corres' NBC News at the UN headquarters.